We are Two Guys Playing Zelda, and you can follow us on Twitter at Two Guys Play Zelda or email us at Two Guys Playing Zelda at gmail.com. Welcome to part three of our walkthrough for the Fire Temple, and right here we're going to be finding the uh, mini boss, which we're really not sure on his name, so we're just going to go to the Fire Dancer. It's good enough, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a difficult mini boss, but he does take a lot of hits. Yeah, uh huh. Which is a pain dealing with this thing running around. And actually, there's a trick right here. I think you can try it, it's just hard to do. If you can kind of circle around Yeah, him, you see, I kind of tried yeah, to do it. Yeah, you can kind of keep on getting him a couple times. Yeah. Because you can sometimes get him four or five times before he goes back into the fire. Mm -hmm. I think his name might be. His name, I think it's Fire Dancer. It might be Fire, fire Dancer, Flame Dancer. Doesn't really matter. It wouldn't be the first time we messed up an enemy's name, to be honest with you. You're messing up. Did you like that hookshot shot? Well, it's not the first time you screwed up in this dungeon. No, no, it is not. As anyone who's watched any of our other parts of this walkthrough will note it. <laughs> Walk two, uh, part two is pretty fun, actually. Yeah, we actually had a lot of fun uh, talking about the, our various, my various mishaps on mm -hmm. that one. That made the commentary a lot better when we messed up. Oh, so we're laughing. Maybe we're on to something here. We should just start doing horrible. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, this is the first time. I think you have to fight this guy twice in this dungeon. You do. Mistaken. Now, what do you get? I think the first. Do you get the. No, we already got the hammer because you can walk up that walkway to yeah. get the hammer. So, what do you. I think you just get, get keys. keys both times? I think so. No, don't the second time you get like bombs or something like that? Yeah, something so. generic. Because honestly, I think you can use bombs to fight this guy too, but I never. Yeah, good luck on that. I just prefer using the hookshot and pulling yeah. him out of the fire. I've never tried using the I'm bomb. not sure why you fight this boss twice. I see. It might be the only mini boss in the game. You really do that. Well, the yeah, point, I can't think of one. The well, so serious kind of. Yeah, but I really want to call that a mini. I think that's just more of an enemy, really. Yeah. Oh, Iron Knuckle. Oh, you definitely fight him a couple times. So yeah. Uh huh. But he's like we say, he's not a tough fight. As you can no. see, I haven't taken much damage at all. It really just hasn't been a tough temple. I mean, we're not really. I mean, you know, you only have five hearts. No, we've, we've, you know, your health is real. What in the world are you doing right there? Don't you ask. walk into the fire? Do you? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I just. Yeah. You'd be a lot cooler if you did. I, I've walked into every other fire I've seen in this dungeon. <laughs> Ooh, fire! Let's go run into it. <laughs> hey, you gotta learn something. <laughs> but yeah, not a tough fight. A little bit of a lengthy one. You do have to hit him a lot. You've had some problems with open doors, too, in this dungeon. Yeah. Were, yeah, I struggled a little bit on this dungeon. It was a fun one, though. It was a fun one. It is. And if you watch our Dungeon Ranking Countdown video, we'll see we ranked it number three. Yeah, we did. Favorites. We ranked it number three. We uh -huh. enjoyed it quite a lot. Not so very similar to Dong the Dongo the Dongo's Cavern. Yep, yep. I was thinking the Dongo the Dongo. I don't know why. <laughs> I was thinking that. Yeah. Not to not to shill our own other videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not to shamelessly plug the yeah. other ones. Yep. But seriously, go watch it. It's cool. <laughs> and then here you'll use the uh, special crop, yep. which I said was the bombs earlier in our walkthroughs. <laughs> yes, yes. Defeat was admitted on that one. But again, just like earlier with the flames, you have to use the bomb to do it because otherwise you won't have enough time. Yeah, uh-huh. And as you can hear, the timer's already... The yeah, it's already clicking down right here. Yeah. You might be able to use a hook shot right there, actually. Maybe. If you get close up to the ledge and shoot yeah. it down. I think you could actually maybe pull it off right there. No, only one way to find out. Let's go play. Yeah. <laughs> but here, though, we do finally... Uh, oh, here's the hammer. Yeah, we finally get the hammer. I guess that's kind of our prize for beating the, the, the flame fire dancer the first yeah, time. Yeah, then we get to this room. Mm -hmm. Oh, just be careful here. And this is tough right here. It is. I mean, because you kind of have to take your time so you don't fall. But if you take too long, you're never going to make it. And maybe another good idea to put Pharaoh's wind right there. Oh, because if you fall in that middle, you got to yeah. redo... I'm not sure where you go down to. I'm not sure either. But it looks like a pretty steep drop right yeah, there, to be yeah. honest with you. You don't have to reclimb through half the dungeon. Mm -hmm. But the Megaton Hammer is a, it's not the most useful weapon, but it's its fun. You, we don't use it a lot throughout the game, just no. kind of certain par uh, parts. Yeah, and it's good for like the rusty switches and mm -hmm. things like that. But other than that, we don't use it a lot. No, we don't. It's really different from Link to the Past, because Link to the Past, it allows us to get to more areas in the Dark yeah. World. And, like, with this game, you really don't have any of that. No, which is kind of... Oh, psh, don't even ask what that was all about. <laughs> I saw him coming, I saw him coming, and I let him hit me anyway. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the hammer... It, it's its a neat weapon, but, yeah, it just is underutilized. Yeah, it really is. And there's a couple other weapons in this game that are like that. Very true, very true. On the boomerang, which we love. What in the world are you doing right here, Red? Don't ask. I'm <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, taking, yes, you're taking your time. There's no enemy. Oh, oh, oh. You see enemy, you go running forward. And even even though I killed that enemy, he's and there's no enemy. You're like, oh, I'm gonna sit here and walk around for a little while. I was, group, I guess. I was enjoying the scenery. The scenery. <laughs> I do like how you use. You're the in the hammer. pits of hell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how you use.
use the the hammer to like hit the big pedestals that drop you down, like we just did there. Move the mm -hmm. statues, and of course, eventually hit the giant. I think in the ooh, I like this room right here where we hit this floor. Yes, and then the whole thing will drop down. Yep. <laughs> Man, fire keys are not your best enemy. No, Red. no I, I pretty much let them uh, abuse me. And then we we'll always say when we get the beeping hearts, we try to take that out. So that's why we're using the fairy right yeah. here. I mean, I was probably gonna die soon anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you saw in our fire keys, you were. Mm-hmm. And a good idea. I don't think you actually do it here, Red. But you might want to kill the fire keys on the other side too, because they will uh, burn these boxes right here. But yep. Red actually shows a little bit of talent right here and gets the box down the switch without getting hit. Believe it or not, I don't show a lot of talent. The no one time, you <laughs> avoid Washington well, saying thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I say we've had we've had fun with yours as well. Don't worry. I got bust you when you finally play Temple. I know it doesn't happen very often. This guy about gets me. Yes, I'm, and they will burn the boxes. So I, I mean, run like a madman. <laughs> and I think if you do, if that happens, they burn both boxes. Just go out, and I think if you come I back in, they, they respawn. So yeah. yeah. Then I don't know what uh, what's what are we doing right here? We hit this down again, I think yep, too. We're working our way back down since we're back down. Far yeah, we're, we're almost at the top, I think, aren't we? Yep. So we're uh, just working our way back down. Ooh, that's a oh, that's oh yeah, that's cool. But yeah, now we're in the room though where we can hit that. Uh, and here's the rusty switch right here. Yep. This is the first time we have to hit a rusty switch. And here's a pillar that actually goes down uh, to the main room that allows yeah. us to get make sure the you, boss. Make sure you jump off before it falls yes, down. Yes, yes, do that. <laughs> or you're riding. You it can all the actually way down. probably hit it from the side too. I think so too. Yeah, because I hit it and then yeah, you don't want to ride that all the way back to the first no. second room of the game. And then I think right here we'll begin. Do we get another Goron? There's one more Goron right in this room. Yeah. Okay. I believe it's the one we saw at the very beginning who has the boss key in their room. Ooh, you might be right. Yeah, because we're getting closer to the end. Yep. Watch the boss key not be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the last Goron. Although we haven't played Goron in a while, though. They've kind of slowed down. Yeah, you're right. After we freed like 10 in the first game. Yeah. <laughs> not, not literally 10. It felt like 10, it though. It felt like it. Yeah, you went through the first bunch of them really quick, but it's been a while now. They're so strong. But yet we're saving them all the time in Zelda games. Doesn't make a bit of sense. We don't get to free them quite yet. I think that is, is the uh, boss key oh, uh, treasure chest right there. Yeah, I think I saw. And if you watch part one of our walkthrough, you saw that we walked from the very opening room of the of the dungeon. You can walk into his left other door. Side. Left door. Yep, the other side of his cell, and you can't get to him yet, but you see him, mm -hmm. and you see the boss key and all that. I don't think this is the boss key one. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> well. I, Two guys screwed up again. Yeah, I just I just realized that when I thought, wait, because we're, we're not going straight <laughs> down the middle. It's not the first time, and it's not the last it time. It will not be the last one. And the special crop to talk about right here is the bombs. Yep. That you... And this is the time he says it won't work on it, he says. And he's talking about the statues at the very front. We have to use the hammer to move them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Which is where we're going to go now. We're going to backtrack. That's where I got confused. Yep. He's talking about the special crop right there. I was thinking hammer to hit the pegs yep. out. Yeah, that makes, says it yeah. won't work. Now I understand why I missed that. Yeah. yeah that's, like, that's explainable now. So what we're going to do now. Yeah, it makes a little more sense now. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is drop back down to that... Uh, uh, the main boss room. The main boss room. Mm -hmm. and or back. not the it's not the boss room, but the main room to get to the boss. Yeah, and then we'll go all the way back to the very entrance to the dungeon. And once again, don't move your joystick right oh. there, and you'll find <laughs> fall kind of in the center. Yep. Although if you miss it, it's not really a big yeah. deal. And even though that door's right there in front of us, we still can't quite get into it. Mm -hmm. I did like how in this dungeon, how you can see the boss room right off the bat. Mm -hmm. It's the second room you go into. You know. Yeah. Right there, beginning. Yep, it's one of the. It might and then you guys. come back to the main room, which we don't really do. Nope. Not a ton anymore. Anyway. Well, we're doing the forest temple, I guess. We're doing yeah. the water temple. Well, because water temple, yeah. And we're doing the spirit temple. Okay, kind maybe of. So do. yeah, maybe we do it more than <laughs> once. Now that I think about it. But I do love this idea right here. Like, yeah, hitting these things out of there. Now where they go is beyond me. They just disappear from the sheer power of the hammer. The I guess. Power of Lake, man. He, he, he works out. You see him carrying those boxes around. There's no gym in Hyrule, okay? He can't work out that much. <laughs> and a good idea right here is to actually use your hammer. Your hammer uh, will flip these things over. I don't know if I use it right here or not, to be honest with you. Yeah, actually, I don't think I do. Oh, wait, you played through this yeah, one. Yeah, so. I think I just used the bow the whole time. Yeah, if you want to, if you use your hammer right here, it'll flip them over. Yep. And then you just have to hit him with your sword. But Red, as usual, tries to take the hard way out. I just go running in there, sword <laughs> swinging. Sword swinging, bow firing. I don't mess with no hammer. Which is another way to kill him, too. <laughs> it works. I've only lost a half a heart so far. <laughs> Thankfully, usually I see these many keys and I lose half my health. Well, when you hit him with the hammer, they'll actually also stay in the yep. same place. You have so. to chase after him. Mm -hmm. Man, there's fire keys. I mean, I know it's a fire temple. But still. But they're everywhere. 
Thankfully, I didn't let those get to me like I did earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are a pain. I mean, they get me a lot, too. They're yeah. just a... Uh, you just don't think about them. They're in yeah. the air. You just don't think about them. I think I do a little better against these tiles than I did yeah. the first time around. <laughs> and you can also... I think you can hit with your sword. I believe so. You just got to time it right. I know in other Zelda games yeah. you can. Yeah. But I never really did because it's so easy with your sword, so... Yeah. And then we also get another school tool in this room, which... Which I think would be our fourth of the dungeon. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I think, yeah. There's quite a bit in this one. Yeah, that's more than usual. It's yeah. Like. There's always a couple in every dungeon, really, so... Yep, yep. Oh, I love how those like-likes drop so many rupees mm -hmm. for you. And once we get this gold skull to the kill, we're gonna get work our way towards the boss key and the final fight. And that'll be in part four of our walkthrough.